Hey everyone, this is Jeff Batten. Welcome to this tutorial on how to use true or false variables inside of Storyline. We're going to take a look at Storyline. We're going to go in here and we're going to add some logic to this so we can't actually click next to a different page until we've actually clicked on the scenario and read the scenario. So let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can actually use a true or false variable in order to make this work so the user can't move forward until they've actually clicked on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I already have this starter file. If you want this starter file, you can go to my website, learningdojo.net, download the starter file, and you can start from here. Now I just have uh, basically a design with a box and inside that box, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit here. And in that box, we have uh, just a regular box with some shadow. We have a title, we also have a description, and then we have a button that says scenario. Now inside of our triggers, we do have an add trigger here for the button, and we also have a next and a back button. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this gear icon. We don't actually need the back button, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uncheck those, and that way they can't move backwards. And, but they can move forward, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave those selected. And I wanna create a new page, and that new page is going to have some text just so we know that we've gone to the next page. So let's come in here and actually right click over our timeline and our scenes. I'm gonna come down to New Slides, and then I'm gonna come down to just Basic Layouts and go to Blank. We're gonna create a blank slide, and I'm gonna have this box that I already created. I'm just gonna copy that, Control C, and then come over here to Page Two, and control V just to paste that. Now let's insert some text. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit insert the text box. And for now, just so we know that we got to this page, I'm gonna say page two, and that's pretty much it. Now what I, want the to, what I want to do is I want them to click on the scenario, read the scenario before they can click on the next button. But if I come in here and I preview this, let's go ahead and see what it looks like so far. So if I just click on the next button, it'll skip me Let's actually, instead of preview this slide, we're gonna preview this entire project before I just previewed the slide. And now if I click on next, it'll go to page two. I wanna avoid that before they've actually clicked on the scenario button. But I wanna have a prompt, and so I do have two scenes on the first slide. The first scene is just this text that says, please read, you need to finish reading the scenario before you continue. This is what I want to actually have prompt if they try to click on next before they continue. And then the scenario, this is the scenario that will pop open if they click on the scenario button. And then once they close this, then the next button should allow them to continue. In order to do that, you actually need to have a variable. You need to have some way to know if they visited it or if they haven't visited it. And so that's where a variable, a true or false variable, true being that they visited it, false being that they haven't actually visited it yet. So we're gonna go ahead and add a variable and you do that inside of Storyline, inside of Storyline by coming over to Manage Project Variables. And then in the variable section, I'm gonna click on the plus icon and I'm gonna go ahead and say visited. You can really name this whatever you want. There just can't be any spaces. And I'm gonna select the drop down box to be true or false. You could have text, you could have a number, depending if you want them to visit certain amount of things before they continue, you can use a number. But in this case, I just want true or false. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click on true or false. And the initial value is basically you set, is it going to be true initially and then set to false later, or is it going to be false? And in this case, they haven't visited it yet, or they haven't clicked on the scenario, so it needs to be false. And so I'm gonna select that to be false and then click OK. So we have our variable set up and you need to create that before you can actually use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to, on the scenario scene or the layer, I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to add a trigger to turn that to turn that to true. And so if I click on add a new trigger, select the drop down box, we're going to go ahead and adjust a variable. And that variable is going to be the visited variable. And we're going to adjust that or assign it in this case to a new value and that value is now going to be true. If you have another variable with some stored information, you could assign it to that same variable, but in this case, we just need to assign a value. Now, when are we going to do this? Well, if they've gotten to this layer, then we know that they've actually clicked on the scenario button, so we're gonna do that right away. So as soon as the timeline starts. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. We have that layer trigger inside of there now. And I'm gonna come over here and just click on true or false. And actually one more thing, 
is I'm actually going to click on this button. I'm going to click a couple times till I get to this close button. And I'm going to go ahead and add a trigger to or hide this layer. So hide layer, this layer, when the user clicks on that, click OK. I'm going to do the same thing under this read scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this a couple times till I get to that um, X. And then I'm going to actually not variable. I'm going to click on trigger and then also hide this as well. So either way, if they get to this layer, I'm going to go ahead and hide that. Now what's going to happen is we actually want to, when they click on the next button, we want to check to see what the value of that variable is. If that value of that variable is false, then we want to show the read scenario warning. If it's true, then we want to go ahead and continue on to the next page. And so what I'm going to do is also add scenario here is I need to get to this scenario layer. So I'm going to go ahead and add a trigger to show layer. And I'm going to say layer is scenario and then click OK. So as soon as that's clicked, it'll go to the scenario, which will then let's just follow the logic here. We're going to go to the scenario and then it will actually turn that variable to uh, the variable visited to true. And so when they close this and try to continue on, it will actually work now. But we need to have one more thing. We need to have a conditional to actually check to see what the value of that variable is. And if it's one value, do one thing. If it's not, a, if it's another value, do another thing. So we actually need to have two different triggers here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and say jump to slide, but only, and that's the question, is if you have a condition, say, okay, I want you to do this, but only in these certain situations, only if they visited this page, only if they've clicked on that. That should let you know, or at least trigger in your mind that you need to have a condition. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on show condition. I'm gonna click on the plus icon, go ahead and select the drop down box and say if, we're gonna to check to see if a variable, and in this case, the visited variable, if you have several variables, you'll see that in the drop down box, but we're gonna say only if that variable is equal to. So it has to be equal to what? And then that, in this case, we're gonna say it's going to be equal to the value of true. So let's follow this logic again. So we're basically going to jump to the next slide only in this condition, which means visited is equal to true. How does that get equal to true if they visited that layer? So that's one thing. So if it's, if it's not true, it's actually not going to do anything at this point. So we need to add one more trigger and that trigger is going to say, if it's false, then show this layer. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna click on the trigger, select the drop down box, and I'm gonna say show layer, select the drop down box to read scenario warning. And we're gonna show this layer, but we're actually going to show this layer when the user clicks on. So I'm gonna say user clicks on, and then we're gonna say next slash swipe next. If they try to swipe, if they're on mobile, it'll do the same thing. So there it is, next slash swipe next. But we only want this to actually happen if the variable visited is false, if they have not gone to that layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on condition, click on the plus. We're gonna use that same variable. But in this case, instead of equals to true, we're gonna say equals to false. Because we already have the true to go to the next page. But in this case, if it's equal to false, then we're actually gonna to go to read scenario warning. Now I'm gonna click OK. So we have two triggers on there. When Storyline actually runs this, uh, when you click on the next button, it's gonna try the first trigger and then the next trigger. And so if the first trigger doesn't work, it's gonna actually try the next trigger as well. It'll actually run through all the triggers. But in this case, the first trigger is not going to work if that variable is not true. So let's go ahead and, and preview this entire project so we know if we got to the next page or not. Here's our question. We can go ahead and click on the scenario or we can try clicking on next. All right, so I know why this wasn't working. Right now, when I was trying to click on it, I did everything correct, but when I was trying to click on it, yeah, nothing would actually happen. The reason why is because on read scenario warning, the hide this layer is actually triggered to do it as soon as the timeline starts. So it appears as though nothing actually happens. I'm gonna double click on that, and I'm only going to have that actually happen when the user clicks, and what do they click? Well, they're gonna go ahead and click on this icon and there we go. So now we're gonna get this to happen. If I click on next, there's that warning. It tells me that I need to click on the scenario and read the scenario before I can continue. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and now click on the scenario. 
there's my scenario. I'm going to go ahead and read that scenario. And now if I click on next again, it'll go on to the next page. So that's how you use a true or false variable, usually like a setting. It could be on and off or if they visited something or haven't visited something, uh, the true and false variable is very useful for that. So if you have any questions, make sure that you uh, comment below or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these types of videos. You can also get more resources and more references on my blog at learningdojo.net. So thank you everyone for taking time to uh, take a look at this video.